Marionetta lived in a room of her own at the top of an old doll's house. In the evening after tea, she used to dance for Uncle Theo Bear, who played the violin. One day, Uncle Theo bought a set of tickets. Come on, everyone, he said. Put on your best clothes. We are going to the ballet. Marionetta wore her silver dancing shoes. When they were all inside the toy theater, the lights went out. A beautiful ballerina glided onto the stage. Oh, said Marionetta. Oh, Uncle Theo, who is that? That's Nina, the prima ballerina, answered Uncle Theo. Be quiet now and watch her dance. The dancer was dressed in black and white. She fluttered her arms like the wings of a bird. She twirled round and round, but never once fell over. I wish I could do that, said Marionetta. I wish I could be a real ballerina and dance in a ballet with Nina. Well, said Uncle Theo, perhaps one day you will. The next day he took her to a dancing class. Marionetta followed the dancing teacher into a room full of toys. One, two, three, said Madame Pizziacato. One, two, three, four, five. All the toys were learning how to dance. Try again, said Madame Pizziacato, again and again. Marionetta did the best she could. Day after day she practiced every move in front of a mirror. It was very hard, but soon she could twizzle around and around without getting dizzy. Well done, my little butterfly, said Madame Pizziacato. You are going to be a star. At last, Marionetta had learned every step of her favorite ballet. She was so good that Uncle Theo bought another ticket for the toy theater. Marionetta was very excited. This time it was the last performance of the ballet she knew so well. The curtain went up and Nina, the prima ballerina, appeared on the stage. Her face was very pale. Do you think she's feeling ill? said Marionetta. Hush, said Uncle Theo, and watch how high she can fly. I love her, said Marionetta. The dancer twizzled round and around. She could flutter her wings like a bird. But why was she dancing so slowly? All at once, she sank to the floor and the music faded away. What is going on? said Uncle Theo as the curtain came down. I think she must be ill, said Marionetta. A young man came out from behind the curtain. I'm so sorry, he told them, but Nina has a nasty dose of the flu. We have to stop the show. Wait a minute, shouted little Marionetta. I think I can help you. She leapt up gracefully onto the stage and disappeared behind the curtain. When the music began again, Marionetta was dressed in white. A thousand sequins sparkled in her hair. She fluttered across the stage like a tiny bird. She twizzled round and round. She danced like a real ballerina. Uncle Theo Bear was very proud. At the end, the audience went wild. They shouted out for more. The air was full of flowers. Atishu, said the prima ballerina. Darling, that was wonderful. She blew her nose. Come and see me next week. We must dance together. Marionetta was so happy she could hardly speak. You and me together, she whispered. That has always been my dream. So Marionetta's greatest wish came true. The end.